Hello gardeners, I'm Lourdes and today Native Plant Channel is going to be discussing the best ways our gardens can help birds over the winter. This is a really tough time for them. Um, the hardest time for them to find food, to find shelter. So it's a great time to start thinking about what you can add to your garden to help make it more bird friendly. And what would our gardens be without these beautiful creatures that entertain us so much that add all kinds of song and sound and interest to our gardens. And winter is a particularly difficult time for them, but we have to note that our birds have been in decline and we have lost approximately one third of our birds since the 1970s. So anything we can do to help them is really needed because they are, we are losing so many of them all the time. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at plants and best maintenance practices. I've noticed that these days, many activities are being sold as an immersive experience. For example, an art exhibit where you'll be surrounded by the artist and you know completely immersed in their work. But if your garden is well designed, your garden is an immersive experience right outside your doorsteps. After all, if it is designed as an ecological landscape, you should have all kinds of insects flying around, bees buzzing, birds visiting, and you'll be immersed in fragrance. You'll be immersed in color. So why go and seek out these other experiences in order to be immersed in something when gardens do that naturally when they are designed with habitat in mind. In addition to our gardens, if you are a cat person and you have cats, please make sure you are keeping your cats indoors um, because it is estimated that outdoor cats are the second biggest threat to birds behind habitat destruction. And I'm sure that you as a responsible pet owner um, would be concerned that your cat could be adding to the loss of our birds. As far as plants, one of the best things you can do for the birds in the winter is to plant hollies. Hollies offer beauty. They offer a great place for uh, birds to roost in the winter. This holly um, that I have is full of birds and other uh, birds and insects um, spending the winter here. And um, you may wonder why, if the berries are so good for birds, they last so long. Well, there are two theories on this, and it does um, help explain why they help birds so much. Um, one is that they're really not very tasty, that they're very bitter, so that birds don't use them until the very end of the winter when everything else has been taken. Another theory is that they actually take a really long time to ripen so that they actually don't ripen until the end of the winter and that that is when they become tastier to the birds um, after they have fully ripened. Either way, they are an excellent source of fat for them. Um, and sometimes garden gardeners wonder, well, when we talk about native plants, why is it so important to use native plants? Why not just use other plants that provide berries even though they're not native? Well, I've also heard that, um, for example, if, you, if birds use berries from plants that are foreign, those plants tend to have a higher sugar content instead of the higher fat content that they need to survive. So think of it as they're just you know, loading up on sugar and carbs, which is not as healthy for them, when our native plants provide them with a higher content of fat. Hollies include our native uh, American holly, as well as our winterberry, which is deciduous and drops its leaves, leaving you with branches loaded with red berries that look very attractive. 
This video focuses on helping birds over the winter, and another plant that helps to do that is sumac, such as staghorn sumac. However, these form very vigorous thickets, so you have to be very careful whether it's appropriate for your property. Over the summer, there are plants such as sunflowers and purple coneflowers that are important food for our birds. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you leave plants standing throughout the winter. Don't be in a rush to clean them up. Here you can see why providing habitat is so important to birds. The plants were left standing so their seeds are providing food for them. But here is another important thing, leave the leaves as well, as those help protect insects that might be hiding over the winter. And birds, even those that do not eat insects as adults, use caterpillars to feed their young. Pretty much almost all birds feed their young caterpillars um, when they are nesting. Plants left standing like this also help bees, which use stems to nest in, and butterflies, which are also spending the winter here. The best place to enjoy nature is right outside in your garden, just like this, where you can immerse yourself in it and enjoy all the wildlife that will visit. Some gardeners are afraid of leaving leaves on their lawn, figuring that it will kill their lawn. But it takes a pretty thick layer to kill your lawn. In case you're wondering, the cages here are simply enclosing plants, protecting them from deer. Uh, the birds themselves are not inside the cages. They are freely flying around. Any native plant that produces seed is helpful to birds, but shrubs are extremely helpful because they help provide cover as well, such as this black haw or any of the viburnums. Um, this one grows like 12 to 15 feet tall, it flowers in the spring, and then produces berries. Uh, some other uh, plants that are helpful to birds include eastern red cedar, um, which produces berries that they enjoy and provides cover as well since it's evergreen. Um, if you would like a vine. Virginia creeper fits the bill and provides nectar for insects such as you see here. Um, it also turns a bright red attractive color in the fall and provides berries for the birds. In order to help birds during the winter, you also have to consider putting out water for them in a way that you can replace it when it freezes. Beware the Ides. The pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, um, these kill many birds every year when they are accidentally directly sprayed or when they eat insects that have been uh, treated by them, also by eating seeds that have been sprayed. Um, so don't use any in your garden so that you don't accidentally kill birds. Please subscribe to Native Plant Channel so that you can be notified when new videos are posted. Also, please check out our Facebook page where our Facebook community um, will help you with answering questions and you can be part of our community on a daily basis. Native Plant Channel strives to help gardeners create ecological landscapes and create these great habitats in their gardens that are so helpful to all our living creatures. Stay with us, check out the many videos that are available in order to help you learn more about native plants and which ones you can use in your own garden. Thank you for watching Native Plant Channel and please be on the lookout for the next video. And during this time of winter when you are doing your planning, please keep our birds in mind. Have a great day. Thank you.